the world. Beautiful in its absolute nature. Beautiful in its diversity. A world where humankind strives to know more, to produce more, to speculate, strives for high technology, for more means of communication, for attention, for energy, for conquering outside space. But maybe, within that eagerness, we're placing some. We forget to listen. We forget to look at the eyes of the one who is in front of us, and rather we choose to look at screens. We miss out moments. We miss out interactions. On the everyday's rush, we miss out connections. There we are, human nature, full of contradictions, a kind that rushes every day for power through different means, institutions, education, and a network that raises you to step out and compete with other people for shelter, food, water. A kind that strives for taking care of the planet while keeping on exploiting it, building up structures, demolishing them, and building over and over again paving and patching nature everywhere while claiming to protect it, to foster it, to maintain it. Attempting to solve problems we create, eagerly claiming to be pro-nature while keeping on producing profits out of it, a kind that strives for its comfort at the expense of other people, a kind that have placed themselves above nature, above other species and even their own species. Wait, how conscious are we from this natural feature? In a mad world, that is what we do every day, nevertheless regarded as normal. And within this normality and by the use of the language, a persona points out what is not normal by means of what Foucault would call sovereign reason. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've heard it's called a mating house in Ghent, in Belgium. We call it a mating house. Every day, between 9 p.m. and 5 p.m., we um, welcoming more than 30 visitors. We call our, our people, not patients, not customers, but uh, visitors. We all visitors here. Recovery, you know, the, the, all the stuff recovery. Uh, recovery is... Um, um, the day of the shine. The shine stands for connectness, hope, identity, meaning, and empowerment. And hope is very essential. In a medical approach, they said uh, you're one psychotic, you're all life psychotic, once addicted, all life addicted. It's not true. Uh, we have the a new identity, when people can be back, that I'm paranoid, schizophrenic, but they instead uh, that sit in our theatre production, they are actors, musicians, filmers, uh, cooks, so this an identity shift, social identity of me, the poor, uh, labeled person, paranoid, schizophrenic, addicted, no, a new identity is your, your right, your poet, your musician. No, it's very important to shift. Give us this uh, place for 33 years, made also for 250,000 euros um, improvements. So the psychiatry said, okay, if the city <laughs> gives it to you, we have to follow. Very long, long term care, three years, not six months and ready. In psychiatry you have to be, now you have to be creative, now you have to paint, now you have to play music, now you have to speak with a psychologist or a psychiatrist. That's a very important difference with psychiatry. It's also typical for our public, the homelessness, stigmatization, they're all very stigmatized in our society. Uh, people come to the place that I am a paranoid schizophrenic, they say no, 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 no. What do you like? I like to dance, I like to make music. Yeah. One, two. One, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Driving over planets, all skip skip the madness. Wish I had dances, but time don't move backwards. Got my damn ass soft to recover from the damage. Left what it not matter, I'm better off without it. But all the facts I'm after, no matter me, the ashes need my temperature to relax before I get back on sadder. My presence won't return before I feel like having it. Ain't no pushing me. I crash it when I crash it. No more. And I won't be a victim. Nobody can kiss my ass. I refuse to be the prisoner. We already be a vision without a call for permission. So stay the fuck out of my business. I'll live my life just how I live it. Criticism is a bitch. I flip off a million bitches. Like, hey, stupid, suck all this. This fist fools and even make it to my list. Taking away from my homie, no time to lose grip. This feeling it is an unexpected attack. As far as mine is dangerous, you may see me as dead. Could you be invincible? See, dreams turn out your because Look, it's different from this river, make it spirit less. Open as that ritual, and then all of it exists. Let the voices be the noise, talk until you like a bitch. This river has scribble and freakish from a distance. Establishing a time for time, didn't know time existed. I'll receive order from your average sources. 
Don't blow up but when there's no control at all No laws, no laws, no war from the world No cameras on the corners, no global is foreign It's a spiritual race which is more sacred than holy Such as the names of the gods that used to tell me As we do now as humans and dangerous stories Like the Matrix is a name which only glows up in the cold But all the things from the home is left out in the cold Left out to die and only with no mercy at all I wanted that I prevent the devil's troll To turn hell into paradise so we all be happy at home but you wish you could fill the smoke The smoke into the rules are gone for saints and the tones The dawn stones go to reproduce like finite joy Infinite joy that prays to the whole plant side of the core Woo! 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 Oh shit man, that was really nice Yo, man, hey, my thumb now to put it back This is how I do, man, I love to rap I love to freestyle, man, with that boom boom back It's the real hip hop, baby, yeah, put it right back there Back on the streets where they came from, man First there was for the people and treat everybody equal man Now it's all for the money and the fame man Fuck that shit man, it's not okay Fuck all the fakes man, put up the real This is how it is, it's an art of steel I learned from the greats man, I fuck all the fakes This is what I do, hip hop, back to place Back to the roots man, from the rasta man From the reggae, put it right back on the plate Loving that shit when I hear the beat drop And I head go non-stop, this is how I drop and I love those words and I put it right back. I keep on rapping, man. It's a rap attack. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Great! <Yeah. laughs> thank you, thank you, man. <laughs> Woo! Nice! So we're gonna make this beautiful scarred lady beautiful with an eraser to wash out the faults. The faults of the diagnostic. But she was the one who, who balanced it all. She, uh, she was the foundation of our new diagnostic of uh, psychosis, schizophrenia. That's why I'm making her pretty. Because now she knows because they mistreated her. She deserves to be prettier than just ugly scars in her neck like a stamp, like a, a number. You can x-ray it as much as you want, but she still is a beautiful person. Eh? But here we understand that you can be a little bit beautiful crazy. If, if they're not, if their intentions are misunderstood, we can talk to each other about our past and we can say, don't mind that, don't mind yeah. that. And it's, it's, it's like, it's like, yeah, you can finally live again and be understood and you you not feel bad anymore. And that's, it's, 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 it's an opening. The pizza is ready. Yeah, pizza. Okay. Woo. I care much deeply about this organization. It's very artful. It's an open window. Psychiatry is a closed window. And then, uh, then you still can go out for a walk and you can hear the birds and it's not always sad, it's like finally understood and makes me think a little bit feeling like a sort of hippie communing sometimes and sometimes with all the different cultures and all the different yeah. tastes and all the different, it feels like yeah, practically family. Family that you didn't know that it could ever be family. Yeah. Even if you're if you're crazy, you still need to feel the outside. You still need to eat. You still need to taste. You need. You still need to be loved, caressed, and and I don't. I think if you're not if you're not able to send your love out and nobody understands you, you get horrible disease and you get really really angry and emotion because you need to give that love around yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a ton of energy but yeah. you cannot oh, you cannot give it away and you need to yeah release it that, release it yes yes and that's that's awful and then they put you in an isolation box and they just put you there <gasps>
there are loads of people everywhere come out again, feel good again. We can have a garden and we don't even eat money. We just grow our food. And maybe uh, we can make some room, some space for homeless people too. It's true, man. I really, I, me, I'm a lot. I have also like a difficult time in my past and everything. And I saw it too in people now. They, they don't have a place like this. They, when they have ideas, they put down by the system. They stomp you on the ground because they don't want you to elevate and everything. That's what we need, man. If you put this house, if me, I put this house in Bruges, we can elevate people and we can make people think, man, they can do it. I can do it too. I can bring something to this. And that's when you start a community, man. Then you start revolutionary shit. <laughs> Um, so this is the Boerenhof. Yeah. This is located in the uh, Rabot mm -hmm. neighborhood. Uh, this used to be a parking lot for cars. Uh -huh. I think uh, about seven years ago or so. And uh, so now the city bought the whole area, demolished the parking lot and made it into a green area. This is what it is now, the green area. So at first the city had decided to, to make it a half a green area and the other half a parking space. Uh, especially because they are building a new mosque here and they are expecting a lot of extra need for uh, parking spaces. Uh. That will make a parking space here. But then some uh, people who are living around here um, started organizing themselves and said no, they won't. It's to be a completely green area, not half parking space. And eventually the city said uh, it was fine. So you see on both sides now uh, a fence with gardens <laughs> behind it. But there used to be on both sides a uh, parking space. So cars could drive in from both sides and enter a garage box on, on either side and in the middle there was just uh, concrete, where there was no uh, soil. It's, there are still many uh, of these places, so the city should basically buy all of them, demolish all the garage boxes and, and, and create uh, gardens. Yeah, okay, I mean, Vincent. The <laughs> Kai! <laughs> Perfect, and now we are heading to the factory. Okay, factory. Yeah. Good. Bye! Bye! Bye.
Ich bin I love you! <laughs> <laughs>